Okay, folks, I just notched that little piece of his, the front here. All right. Just distinguishing where everything is here. And a little bit for his nose. Alright, and this you just want to kind of blend in. Okay, you just want to kind of blend that in. Alright. And over here you just want to blend that in a little bit. Okay. Let me do this a little higher. Okay. The things we're going to do with our ears because, um, we're going to go in a little further. I'm not real happy how those ears are a little too square for me. So we're going to go in a little further. Alright. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a V cut and go all the way down. Just like so. Now you got to be careful you don't chop anything out or take anything out. We're going to do the same thing here, a little V-cut. We're going to take care of the top of the ear a little bit better because that really gets, gets cut out a little further. I'm just going to just cut it across and get that V-cut flush with the body down at the bottom. You just want, you don't want to push too hard folks because if you do you're going to snap that ear off. Okay. So our bunny rabbit's coming along. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to just trim this out a little further. And do one side first and then come back and do the other side. And folks, your your knife really needs to be sharp for that. I'm going to do some more when I'm offline when I have a little better way of looking at it. You just want to scoop this out a little bit. Okay? Just like so. Same thing over here. You want to take it and Scoop one side out. Take a little bit at a, at a time. You don't have to take big gobs of it out. Kind of work your way up. All right. There we go. That's looking good. Looking better. And I'm just going to sweep it down this way. It's a little harder there for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's how the grain is running. I'll be right back. Let me do it back here for a couple of seconds and I'll be right back. Sometimes um, you just need a little more patience to do the inside of the ear. Um, That's kind of the look I want for that ear. It's a little bit hollowed out. Okay. Same thing over here. I just. You can use a gouge, folks. I don't uh, like using gouges. Um, I'm trying to do this so that a beginner can do it with a knife. But sometimes you do need a gouge, and, and it does make it a little bit easier. All right. There's nothing wrong with using gouges or using extra tools for things. Um, you know, we use wood burners and all kinds of things for different effects on the carving. So you're not cheating or anything if you use a gouge or use another tool to remove that wood. All right. I'll clean that up a little bit better when I get offline and I can see a little bit better. Okay, there's our rabbit, folks. We're going to round up the body here a little bit 
too, okay, to go underneath him. Okay. See how we have him, see how it's squared over here? You just want to round that off. He's a nice little project to do in an evening. It doesn't, wouldn't take a lot to do uh, this little thing. Again, if you want to make it bigger, all you do is, um, you know, make it larger and compensate for the width on it. And you can you can burn it if you want. You can um, burn the hair on if you like. In fact, you know what? I may just do that with this one. I need to think about that for a little bit here. And then I can show you what it looks like after it's all wood burned. If you don't have a wood burner, it's a nice little tool to have. If you're a new beginner, um, you know, invest in a in a good burner. Um, you can get them at the shows or any wood carving supply house would would have one for you. Okay, folks, so that's kind of our our rabbit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, and um, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and burn it. Um, that's something a little different. What I'm going to do because I'm burning it, um, I'm going to leave it the, the same color because our rabbits out here are a little bit on the brown side, so that will look really nice. You can leave it like this, folks, and this could be the end of your project. Or if you want to join along for, for burning uh, the wood in, and then we'll uh, just darken up the inside of his ears a little bit. But uh, I think he'll look really cute, and then give him a little white tail. I think that might work out just fine. Um, okay, so we will conclude um, in a couple of set more segments here. And uh, I'm just going to keep whittling a little bit off here and there until I'm really happy how he, how he looks. And that's our little rabbit. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll get him and give him little pink ears maybe on the inside. Do a little bit of painting on him, not a lot. And I'll be back.